So rather than starting first with who is the school staff who can help the student in this classroom or other school activity, let's think about first whether the student can participate on his or her own. And if they can participate independently, maybe they don't need an educational assistant to be right by their side as they're uh, uh, participating in that class. Uh, or maybe if the student was given the right technology or some adaptation, they'd be able to participate more independently. So for some students with complex support needs, it may be that they just need a communication device or a switch that can allow them to participate in an ongoing class activity. And if so, then they don't need an educational assistant to do things for them. Or maybe if they have uh, the right technology, they still need some additional instruction or some guidance on how to participate in the activity. And so as a teacher, you might provide some additional skill instruction so they know what to do. When they're working with their peers in a class, if a student can't do it on their own or they, uh, the right technology isn't sufficient, we might look at how we pair peers up with a student to help with some of the supports a student might need. What we're really encouraging educational teams to do is rather than starting with the first line of support being an adult, we start to think about this more hierarchy of can they do it independently, can they do it with technological supports, can they do it with peer supports, and if the answer is no to all of those questions, then we start to think about more individualized one-to-one -one support from an adult.